Hey, what's up? My name is Chris, and welcome to the second half of the project where we're going to code out this Figma file. Now, you don't have to have followed along in the first half to get value out of the second, because now we're going to turn to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, not only will you have access to this Figma file, and I'll show you how to see that in a second, but also I've got this finished code over here on my site that you're welcome to check out and kind of see how everything works here. This is what we're going to set up during uh, this section of the video series. While we're going to keep it pretty basic with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, we are going to use some fun tooling to kind of combine all of that. So we're going to use the new Astro Static Site Generator. We're also going to use Adam Argyle's Open Props to help us access a bunch of CSS variables. And we're going to use a just-in-time engine for that, so only the things we use get compiled. So there's a lot of fun stuff, even if you're really comfortable with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, a couple notes here. I do have a repo here with all the code that you're going to need. This is the finished site here in the main branch. And then the code from this lesson will be in coding lesson one. So if you want to skip the setup, this is what this video will be about, just installing all the dependencies, getting things up and running. You can just go ahead and grab this branch right here, download the code using the green button here, or you can, uh, of course, clone the thing, whatever works best for you. And you can just skip on to video two if you don't want to worry about the setup. I mentioned you can get access to the design file even if you didn't build it out with us, and that is by going into any of the branches into the SRC folder. There's a design file here, and it's just a Figma file, so as long as you have a Figma account, you should be able to open that up. Now, one final note before we jump in, and that is I've got a community improvements branch, and the idea here is that we can always make a project better. In fact, that's one of the frustrating things about recording videos is you're always like, oh, you know what, I should have done it like this, or you know what, I need to add this component. Well, we can all do that together on the community improvements branch. In fact, you can see I just did some pushes, the things that I noticed that I did wrong in the video or that I wanted to add that weren't there in the original project. Well, the fun thing is we can just keep building this thing out and making it better and better as we go. And you can contribute yourself by just forking this and then doing a pull request. And I'm happy to look at those and see what we can't do better together than I could just do separately on my, in my own little video. Well, with that intro, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'll show you how to install all the dependencies and get everything up and running so that we can start building out the site. All right, then let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start by installing Astro, which is the static site generator that we are going to use. Now, over on the left, I've got a terminal open up with a folder that's just empty. So I've got an empty directory ready, and now I'm going to click read the docs. And this explains how to get started with Astro. And uh, first thing we need to do is install Astro right here. So use npm init Astro. And if you're installing this into a directory that already has files, it's going to warn you because it will overwrite everything in that directory. So just make sure you've already gotten a folder ready that's kind of ready to be used. Okay, so I'm going to start with just the generic template here. And then you can install it with Preact, React, Solid, Svelte, or Vue. I'm just going to ignore all of those, and we're just going to use just vanilla JavaScript for really just that one component, uh, that slider. So that is it. It's pretty quick. All we have to do now is type npm install or npm i, just like it's telling us to do here, and then it will install everything. All right, that just finished up. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this second thing because we do want to initialize a local Git repository, and we'll push, push this up to GitHub eventually. But now I've got all this set and ready to go. And then finally, it tells me that I can just npm run dev. Now I do have to actually open this up as well, so I'm going to do that. So I'll do code dot, and VS Code should open up for me. All right, so I'm going to actually run everything in VS Code just to keep everything a little closer together so that if we have errors and things, you don't have to see me jumping around to different pages. So let me get all our docs on the right side, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so we've got Astro itself ready, and you can see it's installed a bunch of things over here, and we'll be talking through exactly how to use this in a second. But let's go ahead and install some other dependencies we're going to need. We're going to be using Astro Icon, which is actually created by one of the makers of Astro. And let's see, let's uh, go ahead and just grab this install script right here. And I'm going to add that. And now what this is going to do is allow us to quickly uh, minify our own SVG icons, and then also select from literally thousands of icons and quickly add them to our site. Now, although we're going to write this in just standard CSS, we are going to add some layers on top of this to really kind of boost the powers of the CSS that we're writing. So first of all, the th first thing we're going to install is something called post CSS. And we're going to install this with a plugin called Auto Prefixer. Now, Auto Prefixer will essentially add prefixes so that the code we're writing can just be modern CSS, but it can add prefixes for earlier versions of browsers to make sure that everything will work as you'd expect even on older browsers. So let's first of all go ahead and just install post CSS itself. And actually, all I have to do is come in here. We're going to install post CSS with auto prefixer altogether. npm i, which is install, 
The capital D flag is the same as writing dash dash save dev, and then I've installed both CSS and auto prefixer. Now, in addition to adding those prefixes to the CSS that we're writing for older browsers, we also want to do one more thing, which is we're going to use Adam Argyle's open props. Now, open props basically is just going to give us access to a bunch of CSS variables. So we're still writing standard CSS, but we don't have to come up with different font sizes or things like that. We can use these whenever we want to. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you can install this. And if I move down this way, um, all right, here we go. We've got a CDN, we've got NPM, we've got our own CLI. If we want to customize it ourselves, we're worried about this post CSS. And in addition to just connecting it with post CSS, the other cool thing we could do is use just in time props. Now, what that basically means is we can use these open props whenever we want to, but only the ones we use will ever be included in our build. So in other words, we're not going to add the entire library or all that kind of stuff. We're just going to use whatever we want. And those will be the only thing added to our CSS, which is a great way to work. So in order to get this all installed, I need to do a couple of things. I need to install open props itself. And then I also need to install post CSS JIT for just in time slash props. So I've got these both again as just dependencies. And that's what that capital D flag stands for. All right, so that's the stack we're using. Now we need to actually customize it a little bit to make sure it's working properly. So let's kind of go back and retrace our steps. If I go all the way to the very back to Aster Icons, there's one more thing I need to add. I need to add this script right here uh, to my astroconfig.mjs. That's just over this way. So let's give ourselves a little bit more space. And if I come down here, I'm gonna just paste that in right there. And that should basically allow us to minify our local SVGs, which I'll show you as we move on through this series. Now, when it comes to auto prefixer, we actually need to tell it how many versions old we want it to be adding prefixes for. And we can do that in a bunch of different ways, but probably the easiest and what they recommend is to come over here to your package.json and just somewhere in the top level here to add in a browser's uh, list. What I'm gonna stick with here is just the defaults like that, and then put a comma here so everything else still works. All right, the last thing I need to do is to come over here and add a new file, and this is called postcss.config. .cjs. And I'm just going to paste in what we need here and I'll walk you through this. So what we're doing is we're grabbing the just in time props and then we're grabbing open props and then we're adding those as a plugin here, passing the open props to the just in time. And then we're also requiring auto prefixer. So if we've done everything correctly, I should be able to come down here and now say npm run dev, and then it should spin up a local server and everything should be ready and set to go. Let's click on this. And there it is. Welcome to Astro. Now we're going to show you kind of how to set everything up, but assuming I did everything correctly this time, you should have something like this ready to go. If you got stuck anywhere in this installation process, again, you can just jump to the next video, go ahead and grab the code from the repo, and then just install and start right off with us. All right, in the next video, we're going to actually start building out the structure of Astro. I'll explain how to use it. We're going to build our first component, and so you don't want to miss that. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.